as you know, our families are facing uh, greater financial strain, which was made worse by COVID-19. And of course, marriage and birth rates are at an all-time low. Uh, parents aren't having as many kids as they would like to have. And uh, they say that financial concerns are the primary reason for that. As a matter of fact, if the 2008 birth rate had held constant until today, we would have 5.8 million more kids than we have. So this is a real problem that's going to have major ramifications for our labor force in the years to come. Now, on top of that, we also have not comprehensively reformed our family support system in about three decades. And our changing economy has left millions of families behind. So simply dumping more money into existing programs, programs that really need reform, is probably not ideal economic policy. So America currently spends about $500 billion a year to support families, but it's not working as it should. Benefits like the earned income tax credit have a massive problem with improper payments, stemming from the fact that calculating the benefit is an extremely challenging process for families at the beginning of the year when the money's gonna come at the end of the year. Additionally, our largest child and family benefits are administered once at the end of the fiscal year, leaving uncertainty as to how much the family is gonna receive. Existing policy also penalizes marriage and fails to recognize the important and necessary work of parents that choose to stay at home. 